So right now many thousand dollar Samsung phones are stuck at Android Pie and here we have 3 year old phone Redmi Note 4 running latest Pixel Experience based on Android 10. Hey guys Nash here in this video we are going to review Pixel Experience based on Android 10 and at the end of this video I am going to show you how to install it. So let's get started. So guys as the name suggests this is Pixel Experience ROM. It will give you the same Pixel software that you will find in Pixel phones. But unfortunately Pixel phones are very expensive and if you can't afford that you can still install this custom ROM and get that Pixel experience. So in my previous video when I installed Android Q GSI it had lots of bugs. But this room is quite stable. As you can see everything is running perfectly, there is no bugs that will stop you from using this room. So as you can see this is completely deep loaded room and there was one boring camera in this room so I installed Gcam which is running perfectly well in this room and that's a good thing because Gcam normally doesn't work on almost all the rooms but it's working with this Android Q build. And if you are Geo user then you'd be happy to know that Volti is now working. Also they have fixed the Bluetooth calls because earlier when you connect your Bluetooth device while calling someone there were some issues but with this build it's fixed now and other minor bugs are fixed uh, which you will find in other Android Q rooms. Now let's go to about section and see this is Android 10 with the latest security patch of 5th September and with this new update now you can update your security patch with google play updates and that's a good thing because most of the device in the world doesn't get that monthly security updates now let's go to setting menu and let's see the system wide dark mode is working or not and as you can see system wide dark mode is working perfectly and if you have amoled display then it will save you lots and lots of battery life now obviously there is no features or customization in this room, for that I am also waiting for Havoc OS 3.0 which will come with Android 10 and lots of features. So if you don't want to miss that video press the bell icon now. So now in the Wi-Fi settings you will see this QR code share. So if you want to give somebody your Wi-Fi or if you don't want to give them your password you can share your Wi-Fi with this simple QR code. And of course you get new Android 10 recent menu and Android 10 gestures here. It looks good but if you are using any launcher, for example Nova launcher then you won't be able to swipe up and open the app drawer anymore because Google doesn't allow that anymore and that's sad. So as I mentioned earlier this room came with very boring camera app so I installed Gcam. And this is the only Android Q build which supports Gcam properly and everything is working perfectly including portrait mode. And now let's talk about the battery life. Of course it doesn't have that many optimizations right now but still the battery life is amazing. For example if you leave your phone 100% at the night in the morning it is going to be around 98% with all the apps notifications on. And now I will show you how to install this on your phone. So I'm using my Redmi Note 4 and you must have any custom recovery installed. Doesn't matter TWRP or Orange Fox or any custom recovery. And then you need to download only one file, this Pixel Experience Zip. I will drop all the links for supported devices in the description box below. So download that and then go to your custom recovery, wipe everything except internal storage Go to install tab, select the pixel experience file, swipe right to install, wait for 5 minutes and reboot and that's it. You have just installed Android 10 on your phone. And before you go ahead and download it, please like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel. This is your friend Nair signing out and I will see you tomorrow.